What's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a new fish tank, right? So what we've got here is we've got our brand new 55 gallon aquarium. And as I was setting it up, I, fit, I was thinking, hey, might as well talk about it. You know, people are going to get new fish tanks, how they're going to set it up, that kind of thing. So uh, while I was setting it up, I thought I'd show it to you and see what I'm doing with it and uh, get your opinions on it and uh, show you how I'm setting it up. All right, obviously, um, you need a stand for it, okay? And you need the tank, obviously. Uh, so next thing you need to worry about is filtration, right? Filtration, aeration. You've got, I've got a big old sponge filter right there. I've only got a few of the uh, platies here to initially start out the cycle, but I've taken this sponge filter from this tank over here because this tank used to have two sponge filters, right? So I moved one over here so I can use this filtration, you know, and I squeezed it all out so I can use the bacteria from that sponge. If you don't want to do that, that's cool. You don't have to do that. It just speeds up the whole uh, maturing of the fish tank and getting the fish tank ready for bigger fish and uh, more fish. Okay, so, but for right now, that's what I did. Um, obviously you need an air pump, and I did a video on this awesome air pump here just now. Uh, this Inkly MC3000. I'll leave a link in the description below or up here somewhere for that uh, air pump. It's really quiet, that's the ultra, ultra quiet. And I really love it and it pumps air real good. Look at that, that's good. Cause it's pumping this and that tank, look at that. So the only filtration on, on these 55 gallon tanks is just a sponge filter there and a sponge filter there. Now you can't see this very good because obviously I don't have lights, uh, but I'm going to uh, take these awesome lights here. I don't know, um, I'm gonna take these awesome lights here. I will put a link, and I've talked about these lights, so I'll put a link in the description below or up here, uh, talk about these awesome Hyger lights. So, uh, programmable, multi-LED, these are awesome. This, this is a really good uh, light. I'll leave all the uh, links in the description below, and as well as if you wanna buy Hyger products, guess this, uh, check this out, guys. You wanna buy some Hyger products? Go to petnanny.com check that website out any product on there put in the uh, the discount code tropical fish guy all right tropical fish guy you get 20 percent off okay check it out boom dude so just because you're a viewer here all right 20 percent off higher in aqua aqua pumps pumps are good too i need to get them to send me one of those but um here's the tops these tops i got from uh I gotta tell you about these tops though. I've, I got from PetSmart and you know, I was looking around for the best prices because you know, that's what I do for you guys. And these, these tops were actually 10 bucks cheaper going to the physical store than Amazon. Uh, I went to the physical uh, PetSmart by my house. They were 18 bucks each side, so 36 bucks, uh, but um, each side there were $28 on Amazon. I was like, no way. So sometimes it pays off just to check out the store. So if you're ever going to the store, look at the tops because the tops I've always found that the actual store, uh, PetSmart store has the best deals on the tops. But uh, let's go ahead and take this top off. Look how bright that is. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look how bright that is. Is that a beautiful tank or what guys? Come on, give me a like for that, okay? me like subscribe if you want your tank to look like that subscribe and hit that bell notification all right anyways uh, i'm going to take this awesome uh light off this tank put it over here and we'll take a look at it okay and you're wondering why all this stuff i told you earlier this stuff is the nasty stuff that i squeezed out just to get the uh, bacteria going in this tank uh, but uh here we go all right guys check it out Beautiful looking with the light, huh? That is such a wonderful light. You can actually see the fish, right? And I'll give you a close up here. Yeah, here we go. That is such a good light. 
Like I said, use the coupon code to get 20% off that light from PetNanny.com, Tropical Fish Guy. Uh, but check it out. I'm going to put some gravel in here. All right. Uh, but you don't need to, you know, to, to get it. If you're trying to just hurry up and get some fish in there, this is what I do all the time, right? I just get the stand, the tank, get a filter, and get lights, top, put the fish in there to cycle the tank. Don't put too many, just a few fish in there. Get the filter going, squeeze out the old bacteria, borrow a filter from a different tank. If not, that's okay. Um, when you put the water in there, Make sure that you use uh, dechlorinate the water, obviously. Best thing for that is to use the uh, prime. Best for fresh or salt water, so I'll leave a link in the description below <clears throat> for that. So, I mean, for example, this whole tank is a 55 gallon. You use uh, six milliliters for that, but uh, anyways. It's gonna look a lot better. We'll go ahead and add on to that. But as you know, what my point is here, if you really wanna just get jump started into getting a tank and you wanna do it real fast, those are the basic components of what you need, right? Filter, light, tops, tank, stand. Um, not, you don't even need, need the gravel, but I got some gravel, I gotta wash it and stuff. But um, anyways, I'll put some gravel later. But the best part of this is the fish are in there. There's a few fish in there I just showed you. Fish are in there somewhere swimming around. Somewhere, 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 somewhere. Anyways, they're in there. And um, they're pooping in there and they're getting the bacteria going and everything is uh, being, there they are, is everything is being cycled around. There's a couple right there. Um, so, you know, you can vacuum all this out, but I'm gonna cover it up with some, some gravel and I'll show you in one of these videos. But the, the point is, having tanks is an ongoing process, right? So we're always improving. You could have such a basic setup now, but still enjoy the fish hobby. So anyways, give me a like, share this thing with someone who loves fish and uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification and Go to the uh, website, tropicalfishguide.com. Anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. And happy fish keeping. Peace out. Oh, by the way, heater, you might ask? So that depends, right? We keep our house anywhere from 75 to 78, you know, depending on whatever. In the summer and 72 in the winter up, up higher. So um, we don't need uh, a... Right now it's summer, so we don't need a, a heater in the summer. But once it becomes winter, then we'll add a heater in there. But um, otherwise, if you know your fish need a higher temperature, definitely check out the heater. And I'll leave a good heater in the description below. All right, peace out.